coughs. <laughs> All right, going into it. Grand Finals, Razo versus Elegant. A run back from Winners Finals. Going, going to Battlefield again. This is what I think they played the majority of their set on. I think it just mutually agreed to, to go to the stage. All right, gen generally uh, large blast zones here. Not too big, not as, as much as Smash 4 blast zones. It, it has calmed down and... He's dead. Yeah, that jump. That jump green missile did not do him any favors. Yeah, it looked like he was. It looked like he was a bit worried about what Ravo was gonna do, and then he just stood there menacingly, and Elegant just kind of did it to himself. All right, down air into four air, confirmed from both for both Peach and Daisy, and that misfire gonna save him in that situation. That's exactly what I needed to do that stage control. I I like the weight on the score there. Not gonna fall fall for it that time. Oh, I like the float away that dash tag. Alright, turn around, fire jump punch, gonna take that stock. Up, now we just need Elegant to get that one hit that he needs to get all this damage in. Starting to go off 27%, Cyclone immediately getting out of disadvantage. I like the way, not trying to go uh, for anything crazy, just allowing Rosal to land, getting him with a back air on the landing. I love oh. the parry there. That's him with a golf club, get out of here. A lot of people there, they're like, oh, it's fine. I. His side beat coming, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fine here, and then it'll still hit you. I like what Ross is doing there. He knows that Elegant likes to slide off the platform after fire jump punch if he misses it. And Ross just waited and uh, didn't get too much damage off of it, but he did punish him accordingly. Also, you can just see him calling out so many of the ops that Elegant does. He just seems to have. He knows exactly what he's gonna do before uh, Elegant will even do it. He catches him. Got with, a jump. Yeah. Sour spot of fire jump punch is menacing in itself. Oh, it's such a good gimmick goal. Give me that jump and look. Alright, he expected him to land that time. Yeah, you, you Don't cannot miss, a, miss the tag. You're doing missing techs here. Are that doing grand? Everyone? Nah, we're gonna take, we're gonna. Elegant really capitalizing off of that scenario right there. He was losing most of the match. Finally brought it back, missed the tech, and then he managed to, to take it all back there. So. One going to Elegant, going back to Battlefield. As I'm saying, Raza really just has a lot of the things that Elegant wants to do down in the side. Like, right, you can go here, you can go here. I got, I got this. Alright, back in Battlefield here. Alright, starting off with Bolt Gus and Tigap there. Not going to be able to get anything else off of it. And very nice using the dare to get away from the Cyclone. Try to chop him away. Ow. F smash. But each Parasol, once you uh, once you realize that you, you need to recover, you can just do that early Parasol and then mix up your landing. And it's so hard to like call it out just because of the constant hitbox it has. And also the drift that it has. But Alligan not worried about the drift that Uppy has. Just worrying about where Raza's going. Into the sky. Oh, oh God. give it to him. Elegant is just going ham. He's just trying to get that last off. Great air dodge in. Rosa likes to throw that turn up down at the ledge for a quick two frame, but Elegant with a perfect air dodge. Alright, gonna throw the turn up up. Very smart catch. I love that. You throw the turn up down into a forward air. Alright, Nair into back air. Very, very nice bread and butter for Luigi. Yeah, he's just calling. He just knows that Elegant's always going to go for that, uh, that tornado. Alright, just shielding the forward air there. No punish off of it. I'm really surprised the Elegant didn't go for an up either. there. I don't think he was confident that it was going to hit. God, he is backing up on Elegant right now. But Elegant's staying strong. I'm not, I'm not scared. Alright, just shielding out that forward air there. Gets the Pulsar Gust, but no punish. We should get up to get stuck in by the Cyclone. Barely, just kissing the Blast Zone right there. Another Pulsar Gust, very nice catch. There's really good. Elegant will, Elegant will opt to really throw it off there just for a... Uh, it's like throwing the turn up down. You just throw it for the two frame there. Yeah. Alright, gets the landing fair. And he catches the turn up. Get out of here. He honestly catches them so many times. Like, he's getting into the rhythm of 
when he wants it. Raza just catches it back. It, it's still in play. We are definitely having a ball game out here with these catches. Down throw into back air. Very nice. Oh, but he's not going to be able to get any. Uh, I think he's trying to do a green missile there. Oh, Alan getting close on a two stock. Already has Raza behind him. So working up being up 2 0 against him. Raza's going to find an answer again. Back air. Not going to kill just yet. Battle for the throw. He's. He is so good at catching these turnips so far. This he is punish. adamant about not getting hit by that turnip. Whoa! All right, low profiles to grab there. Literally, the ending animation of Luigi's uh, missile made him uh, made the grab whiff. How can going up to two oh against Razo? And I just realized this match was literally just date night. It's Luigi versus Daisy. Daisy. I wanted to say something about that, but yeah. All right. <laughs> Trying to be wholesome, having a, having a nice date, playing some cats. Daisy out here beating her boyfriend, though. <laughs> I mean, you know what? And uh, Luigi firing back. Like, I mean, they both agreed to fight. What's <laughs> a, a little fight between between couples? Who needs couple count? Couples counting. We can just go to battlefield real quick. <laughs> See you over there. Twenty minutes, real quick. We'll figure out our differences here. Elegant is looking so much better than the Corners final set, already up 2-0 again. Razo, again, he has his answer to Elegant, but he's still, he's losing these stocks so fast and he's still getting hit a lot. Alright, gonna get the down air there. More down airs into four? No, Cyclone will be it out. Saw the crowd come out, but the Cyclone again, that was iframes, man. They will save their life. Alright, another Pulse Cross that gets hit by it on the Daisy Bomber. And Outside does he have a jump? I don't believe so. Get the hell away from me, yeah. Slapping him out of there. Even then, he didn't want to risk what uh, Elegant could have had. Could have seen a misfire. That was so good to go out there and just finish what you had on your plate. You already know what you're going to do. Alright, not only able to get the fair there, Elegant DIing down to land early. But still, I've got some good damage. 35% is still respectable. Cash is out with the, with the uh, Cyclone, but not going to kill you. All right, nice back air there. Not gonna be able to kill him just yet. Back air on the field again, reading that the cycle is gonna happen. I'm gonna get catching them. I don't care if I'm in disadvantage. I will catch this turn up. I love it. And I love how consistent Elegant is at catching these turnips. Because once you get that hitbox out of your way, you don't have to worry about just getting gimped. That's actually kind of funny. He, he double spikes uh, Peach on uh, Daisy on that uh, dash back air. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Back throw 105% elegant needs an answer right now. Gets also little, needs to calm down. Yeah, get some start with that back to like 16%. I'm always amazed by how much damage things do in this game. Up smash, not gonna be able to take that stock just yet. That was so perfect to like get the up smash because he had him on the platform, that would have been timbered. Unfortunately, he's not gonna hit that two stocks of piece here. Elegant still, he's doing so good at bringing these. Uh, situation back against Razo from uh, Mom out. My, oh, <laughs> it spiked him. <laughs> Disappeared. <laughs> Bro, I, I really, I want to watch that again because he literally got hit and just, yeah, pull off next stock. Like, <laughs> he had no chance. There's like, nothing in the world that could have saved him. Yeah, I'm going to watch his bot again. I'm going to watch that in slow motion. Uh, put it on a .25 play speed. Still going to disappear the next frame. Definitely. So, Razo at... <laughs> I didn't even talk about that. I got 71%. This might have been the breath of fresh air that Razo needed. Finally has his lead, so he doesn't have to go in and just risk, uh, just go in with all that risk against Elegant. Down throw, down B, not gonna kill yet. I like what, uh, what Razo's doing. He's continue. he's making situations where Elegant thinks he can pivot grab him, where he can try and grab him. No, why? why? If you get another why? kill, I will oh. be upset. If, you, if, if you, he hit him again with that, that. <laughs> I would have been very upset. That shouldn't that shouldn't be allowed. There, there should be like a limit to how many how many of each item you pull. Like, like a limit to Saturn and, and Bob Bomb in one match. I, I feel like it'd be cool like every one you pull, like the odds get a little bit bigger. Yeah. Like oh it's one two fifty six, now it's like oh yeah. Yeah. one in five twelve. I think doubling's too much, but probably that's probably right. But I was gonna put a point on it. I don't know.
haven't seen much of anything. But you know what? That's fine. Yeah, that's what Luigi saw, dude. Like, after he disappeared. He got knocked out. <laughs> but we ain't, we ain't gonna see anything. Going back to Battlefield. Hey, man, he's just... He's just trying to kill, uh, kill off the, off the sides now. Like the sides aren't being, aren't being kind to him. Off we're back. Don't really know what happened. Maybe the camera ran out of battery. Who knows? Luigi. All right, going into game four. Yeah, game four. Razo, uh, Razo down two one, but. The way that last game went, it looks like he's finally got that breath of fresh air. Going to a different state now, Smash Roll. All right, Razo trying, trying to uh, push out Alligator as much as possible here, but he is eating a little bit more percentage than he would like to take. Very nice Tomahawk grab there, just using the float to fall in front of Alligator, where he thought he was going to back air. Gets the air dodge in, but no punish yet for Razo. Psycho pulling him in, not able to. Why? Give me that. Give it so, to me. Uh, why? That's three. And, and he got a dot face. That's not That's okay. rude. <laughs> You're very rude, Rod. He threw away a stitch. Did you not? Yes, he did. You know what? That's probably good for Elliot. Down throw, down up. He nearly missed. Ross is not heading any of it right now. That was literally one of the first times I've ever seen that miss. Oh, no tech, yeah, he's but fine. we got a jump. Yeah, he's able to jump throughout all that. Great spot dodge. He even waited too. Razo's like, oh, okay, I see him not doing anything. He just made it out to the, the ground. Ooh, I love the falling up here into revert. That technique, 60 percent. Realizing that up he really isn't going to hit Daisy. All right, another back air on the platform there. Just planks the fireball with the turn up and catches him on the roll with the back air. I love seeing people who punish rolls with their options because it always hits behind because of how bad roll is. It makes some of the best animations or interactions. Yeah, yeah like they're behind you, but you still hit them. Like, yeah, that, that happens in this game. Right, it shouldn't, but it does. Oh, I love how much elegant uh, he drifted away Ooh. from that with the down B, so he wouldn't get a, a hard punish. All right, Cyclone, not gonna save him on Smash Roll. Smash Roll too small. Actually, calling out the roll actually. Down tilt? No. Going up a toad counter for uh, the fireball, but I think Elegant did that just so Razo would not be able to act on it. He's going to booty right in his face. Alright, throws out another fair to challenge him, but very smart dash attack from Elegant, drilling back a little bit before he attacks him. Elegant looking like he's ready to reset his bracket, 86% unanswered. Oh, barely, barely poking with the down air. DD Weak are looking strong. Alright, Nair on that shield, getting a punishment to Karate Chop. How much, how many things Razo is putting out, none of them are hitting right now. He needs that opening. He needs to let that shield recharge is what he needs to do. Look at how small that, that guy. Maybe, like, I'd like to see him, again, zone out a little bit with these turnups. Look how much damage he's getting. A lot of, like, a regular turnup does, like, 12%. It's a not, not okay percent. So you just throw a couple at him, that's a free 30%. Suck that, that, that cyclone. Just playing a little bit with that float there, and very nice retreat from Elegant there. Yeah. Up smash, yeah. That's gonna be a bracket reset. Yeah, it was like up smash, and then playing with something, but that animation came out. I think I think it was grab. Yeah. Those are also my favorite animations. When you like throw out a move, it clanks with something, and then the animation comes out. Like Snake throwing out an up tilt to clank it with something, so he's just like flexing like this, yeah. and then all the way up there, he's just dying. You're like, wait, what happened? <laughs> well, snake main, the snake mains no. I throw out the foot. Snake's a whack character. He makes you play his game. You're like, you're not playing Smash. You're you're playing a stealth game. Now we're gonna be playing into this set too. When Chase says you're leaving in five, but you ain't leaving at all. I mean, maybe don't say that. Let's calm down. But you're you're, you're right. <laughs> I mean, he's reasonable. Uh, we'll see at 
right back to Battlefield here with the grand final reset. We're also starting off with a fair and finally gets gets a grab in that scramble. He's continuing this percentage. Still unanswered. There's the up smash out of shield. Elgin. I wonder why he's going for up smash and not back air out of shield. I feel like we can get a little bit more, but I don't play Luigi. Really I, I think the fact that like back air you have to do short hop. Oh another stitch. You did buy. Uh, you, uh, if you back air out of shield, it's like short hop back so you'd have to land. Whereas up smash, it'll do about the same percent, and then you can just immediately go because you don't have to land. Yeah. So I think it's just more optimal. Alright. Uh, I'll take your word for it. I mean, yeah, that, that's just a guess I would have. Also, uh, up smash is invincible, you know, what yeah. you said. So even if you throw out another option, you can pedal and go through it. Why not? Alright, throwing a, lot of, a little bit too many fairs out there. He's gonna get beat. He tries to tries to scare him with the flow cancels. Go for a flow cancel fair. Another stitch? stitch. What the hell? That's the third one we've seen this grand final so far, and he pulled two here. Yeah. Alright, that shot can connect fully there, but he gets a full jab. Up smash. Ooh, oh, I thought DBZ moment. Not gonna work out here just now. But, you know, he's just close to the blast one, so that one was going to kill. Now they're taking first blood here in this uh, Grand Finals reset. No, he went flying. Alright, not going to be able to get the up smash either. Very nice clank with down air. Yeah, he definitely expected Elgin to go for an up smash again. I'd like to really like a retreat. Alright, that's a get up attack. Only invincible. Oh my god, he is he is spinning. I don't know how Luigi's dizzy with him right now. Yo man, he kinda like a blade Beyblade though. Oh yeah, Beyblade let it rip. Yeah, that's kinda what Elegant's been doing. He's he's been letting that cyclone rip. That's all Elegant does. He literally he, he doesn't care. He's like, you know what? I'll let it rip right now. Say I won't. Tries to snipe him with the turn up. Alright, very nice weight on the sport there. That's a down throw. Max range grab. Close from falling up there, somehow missing. Really interesting. Was that another stitch? No. I like in that spinning. Like I closed my eyes for a second. I thought that was a stitch in the spinning animation. Yeah. No, I don't think it was a stitch. Back there, that fast was dead. Yeah. yeah. No jump to save him there. Realize he doesn't have the resources anymore. Razo up a pretty decent amount, but Elegant is not making this easy. I. Very nice short hop back here there, and no punish on the dash attack. Oh, I like how he stuck on the top platform, because he knew if he was on that bottom platform, that's a down tilt, and that's where you get all your percent taken away from you. When you go on that platform, Raza really just has to, he has to be framed perfect with the punish to get an optimal uh, percent coming in. Alright, playing the zoning game here. Going out both of and the fireball just to beat out the turnips, but no. Finally going into CQC, he lost it, and that Cyclone going to connect and going to take the kill. Yeah, not looking too good. It's so hard to tell where you're going to go. You pretty much have to have... You either need to guess or you need to have that on-spot reaction. Sometimes you just look terrible when you guess wrong. Uh, Alright. Still continuing the combo here. And gets him with a fadeaway fair there. Catch with the turn up again. You're not hitting with that, but you're dead now. Yeah, very nice. Uh, just throwing out the spore just in case Elegant hits him with the uppie. Yeah, I don't really Should make sure he's dead. Yeah, I don't think he needed it, but sometimes you gotta be out there for a good measure. Hey man, I, I I definitely killed a Link at 12, but I continued countering him until it was on like 106. I'm just like rude, that. and I like it. One of my matches today, I played against a El Roy. Literally the match starts off, I hit him off stage at 12%. I, I countered him twice and he died just a little zero to death, and I was like, Wow, uh, counters are not okay in this game. They aren't. There's some energy going around in the WNF. People are just yelling. Everyone is excited. And I would be too for this hype ass grand finals. Okay, going into it once more on Smashville here. 50 what? Get that booty away from me. I'll Holy crap, the match just started. So he's just reminding Daisy who's in charge right now. Like. Elegant is not looking to play around with that first stock. He got that was dominant, and he's not even done. Already 60% on Razo. Like the match just started. He go for some kind of record. He's like, oh, what game one? This is game one. Oh, oh do it again! I thought he was gonna karate chop him. Oh, 
I, I wanted him to miss. I wanted him to missile him right there. Honestly, elegant is the kind of person to go for. I've seen him do that kind of thing before. I guess pulled out by the parasol there. Glance with Poster Crest, not gonna be able to get the grab. Very nice back air there. Not gonna connect, but I guess he has smash. Yeah, Crest gonna take that. Elegant is looking commanding right now. He he wants this tournament. Yeah, Elegant running back in with a grab here. He continues the combo. Turn up. Oh, oh my, my god! He said this is mine now. I got combos of my own. I would have loved to see him like jump up and like up B. Cause I, I definitely would have popped off for that one. So much damage. Coming like, yeah, can I go home now? Like that ain't okay. <laughs> Elegant is like so ter it's terrifying how accurate he is at catching these turnips. I don't know if he if he like practices it or maybe it just comes naturally. I, I'm pretty sure this guy has some sort of item practice. Especially with Sage Builder and that up smash. Sage Builder, Elegant is a fan of party games. So that game, that game two. You don't want to play Mario Party against Elegant. Oh my god, that's some crazy stuff. Yeah. That, that was a commanding game. And when he did that, like, uh, when Raza did the the, peak, the parasol, the Daisy Bomber, and it hit him in the stage bike and went out there, I would have loved to see him fair. Yeah. Cause like, it reminded me of this one time when Elegant was fighting against I'm Him. They literally fared him into the stage. It traded, they both like did back air trade. He bounced off and then jumped back air uh, I'm Hip to like win the tournament. My God. It was, that guy's crazy. I love it. He's got some reactions on him. Yeah, he does. Hopefully that'll be enough to carry him to the very end of the set and take the W. But going into game three here. One, go. All right, Razo trying to feel out the situation here. Start off with a back air, double back air. No, air dodge is down against grab. Yeah, that max range grab going in. True, uh, true definition of a tether grab. All right, very nice. Gets the dash attack once again. And very nice pun uh, punish on the beach bomber. Yeah, Razo, I don't think he was expecting Elegant to actually jump out. That's for the fourth stitch. Yes. I mean, uh, yeah, I did, I did see it, but like, man. Oh, wow, the misfire is going to kill him. No, no, actually, I think he still has his jump. No, he didn't need it. Okay. Oh, another misfire. misfire. Yeah, I'm surprised the, uh, I'm surprised Elegant stayed in all that down, that down smash. I really thought he was going to just whiff. I feel like Elegant might have been able to like SDI down and got gotten out of it. But if he did, he might have foul fall too much. Yeah. He might have died, so. I know, I know my dumbass will accidentally hit shield on while, while I was trying to SDI down. What happened? You just gotta be, you gotta have that control of that. Razo, just reminding that everyone that they could just float past, uh, past and below the stage if they so want to. Okay, this should be a float back. Still has a float, but back here actually can beat it out. That's, that, that's really good what Razo did when he went under the stage. We really just want to bait out all that work. Three. Yeah, you want to bait out the iframes that your character has. If you have that method to do so, it's just really good. Razo is still eating some damage for the Elegant here. Finally answered back. I guess combo broken by the Cyclone. I like the down air attempt there, but Razo has been weaving it, uh, out and away from Elegant where he's trying to go for those. So cancel forward air coming in. 70%. Both these characters are pretty even. Not gonna be able to connect into the forward air there. Turn up down, down tilt, nice. Oh my. That should have been a, bit of a bigger punish there from Razo. He had the air dodge in, he could have just done anything without the stock, but I think he was getting too. Is that the fifth Five. one? Yep, I was the fifth stitch face. Razo caught just, uh, what's the word, floating right there. Yep. That was a really clutch uh, roll away too. Like he avoided the back throw, but the up smash just catching him on the float, and Razo just bringing it all the way back, taking that stock and adding some extra credit to his name. Bar Razo, 50% on answer. He knows the second Elegant gets that grab, it's gonna be so much damage. He's starting to he's starting to zone out Elegant a little more. You see with the turnips. I'm actually pulling him out now though. Yeah, and he's uh, being a lot more patient against Elegant now. He knows Elegant wants to run in. He knows that Elegant doesn't really have anything to to zone him out like uh, Daisies do with their turnips. Down throw back here. Very nice BNP. 
Got the two frame with the down tilt. Pelican really just hugging the ledge there. I don't want to get hit by that. Yeah, it's casting these turn okay. Bro, I don't really know whose turn ups he's been so far. It's definitely like a joint custody type of, type of relationship. Maybe you beat me to the punch, dude. Alright, gonna go with another back air, keeping him back off stage. Razo trying to get the down tilt, but he gets beaten out by the Cyclone. Oh, that's, that's where the damage no. comes in. I thought he was gonna up me after that up tilt. I honestly thought he was dead. Oh, cancel fair. Not gonna kill just yet. 145% battlefield doing favors for everyone. So scary. Now Luigi has rage, and all these things are gonna kill even earlier now. We're also out here trying to throw out these backers to catch him on an aggressive punish. But that's get Cyclone. Big, making the first move, saying, you know what, I'm tired of all this dude. I'm trying to hit. <laughs> oh my god, dude, get up. I'm not getting punished yet. Yeah, another Cyclone. You know what, I'm coming in. I'm here now. Look at this damage coming in. I don't think Grazo used his jump there. He had no float. Oh, okay. I was very, I was very, you know, like, I mean, yes, I'm up, but I wasn't up B. Yeah, all right, thank you for that. I was, I was going to ask a lot of questions. Yeah, I probably wanted to flow cancel up air there. Unfortunate SD from Raza, not really, you're not, you don't have your flow. Once you've used your second jump as a, as Casey, and you try to float, it's just, everything falls apart. It's like, yeah. wait, where'd my float go? And you almost always SD. Because you, like, you're relying on it. You're like, if this is gone, I lose. And he lost there. Yeah. That was a great job bringing that back. He's, he was just staying so patient that last match, and he was able to just brute force his way into so much damage with those cyclones like we saw. All right, gonna go with down throw, up tilt? F tilt. F tilt. Oh, the heart, right. Well, in Daisy's case, the Daisy. Yeah, the flower. Honestly, the only, the only, tilt, the only tilt anyone knows that uh, Peach Daisy has is down tilt. You see anything else? What is that? What are you doing? Is that alien? What are you doing here, buddy? You know you have other moves. Got the two frame with the down tilt again. Oh, I love it. Go out there for the edge guard, catching out the uh, the final end lag of the cyclone. Not cyclone, but the side beat. Alright, trying to get over the back air there. He's not going to be able to get Rasta stock just yet. Yeah, that's a grab. Down throw, NATO not gonna actually kill this yet. Up smash, get him out of here. Left so fast. All right, he still got some extra credit on Elgin. It's still climbing, trying to get him with a player. Tried not to take get him. it. Oh my gosh, I love that he tried to take his jump there with the karate chops. Luigi's actually just so, so good with that. Because once he hits you with all these karate chops, you're like, all right, let me jump and get out of here. And then it just gets eaten up. Just like that neutral get up. Wow. Elgin read that. So Elegant up two, two stocks right now, even though he was looking so down. But Elegant is so, he's so good at just realizing that he's down. All right, when I get this hit though, when I get this hit though. Now he's on the verge of actually winning the tournament, 65% on Razo. He needs to find the second stock fast. Razo very smartly waiting it out, but not having an answer for the Cyclone. All right. Oh, okay, okay that, might, that, way. That, that might be a, st a start. Two? Yeah, but you don't really need the yeah the Saturn was not the thing you needed right there. If the if the percent were reversed, free. Quick dab, gonna take that. Elegant actually taking home this W and F after losing to Razo in winners uh finals. Reset it, took it double three ones. Yeah, it had really good call outs on Razo's recovery options there, especially with the neutral getups. He also conditioned Razo to play a little bit more antsy than normal. Uh, he also made him respect him. Uh, quite a bit, because uh, Razo was doing really well. He start he he was forced to use turnips a little bit less because uh, Elgin was able to zone break, and when he wanted to slow the, uh, the game down, uh, Razo couldn't really do anything about it. Yeah, and if you look from a, a winners finals to grand, you realize that Razo was going for the same things that uh, got him to win that winners finals. He was uh, putting out the neutral beat for the fireball. He was waiting out all these reactions, but. After that, once Elgin figured out how to get around that, he started having this counterplay. All right, let me throw out this fireball right here so he's preoccupied with that. Kind of a little uh, bait and run yeah. there. He would cyclone a little bit less, just bait him out, and just realize that in that in that situation when they're both standing there, he can just go in and do that cyclone. 
He was just adapting so much, and Razo was just a little too slow there. Yeah. And Winter Swatters, you would have said, oh, Razo was always one step ahead. But in this one, Elegant actually finally caught up and was able to just, just take him down. Yeah, uh, in the very end, it was like uh, sort of a war of attrition. Like, Razo was sitting in the pace at the very beginning at, uh, of, uh, of Grand Final Set 1. And then Elegant started picking up. He started being, becoming the pacemaker. He started allowing himself to really, really just analyze what Razo wanted to do in specific situations. And most of the time, he set, it up, he set up the same situations because he already knew what Razo wanted to do. And Razo, Razo didn't really have time to mix up his options there. Yeah. Man, Elegant, like, and so many times you saw how down he was, and then he just brought it back. Yeah, He's like, all right, I need this hit now. I'm going to get it. 